fans. They listen to you. There's, they a listen. Of, there's a lot of loud fans, I think, saying the, the, the talent, but I think that more fans understand that it's an execution issue right now. Yeah, I mean, it is. And, and that, that happens during a baseball season. There will be 11-game stretches where you don't execute, or there will be 14-game stretches like last year where you execute magnificently and everything is great and you win every game. Um, and so I, that is very heartening, honestly, to hear that fans are, are looking at this uh, as they should, which is, okay, you know, this is a bad stretch. It's still a very talented team. They just got to, you know, they got to get things straight. And, and I think, you know, guys, the, the way that I look at this right now is the Mariners are one game behind the defending World Series champion Houston Astros, right? Uh, the Astros are under 500 right now. And the Phillies are under 500 right now. And the Cardinals are... I think the Cardinals might have the worst record in the National League right now. Like, they're bad right now. But if, if there were underlying numbers that told me the Mariners are a bad baseball team, I might be a little more panicked than I am. But they have a zero run differential right now. They've scored as many as they've allowed. And generally speaking, when you have scored the same number of runs you've allowed, you're about a 500 team. And so th- this is this is what small samples do. They warp our minds and they try and convince us that there are things there that aren't. And and the thing that isn't here is the Seattle Mariners being a bad team. They're not. They they just objectively are not a bad team. They just haven't had the best stretch.